I'm just going to get us get us started in a second here. I, I'm assuming that they can take it and they can edit, you know, or maybe I'm supposed to do that. I'll find that out. But anyway, um, so you guys, um, thank you for doing this. I wanted to pick my seniors uh, for lots of reasons. Uh, Juan, you're, you're a wise bunch of gentlemen. Um, but let me start by introducing all of you. Um, this is gonna be, uh, I think, broadcast over the, um, I, I don't know if it's our Instagram or whatever it's gonna be on, but it's gonna be on something for all athletes. And then we're gonna put it specifically on tennis for forever, maybe. It might, it'll be on there for a while at least. So anyway, um, these are the three seniors who are just graduating, whose careers were all abruptly uh, ended in, um, in mid-season here this spring, and I, I still feel bad about that. My goal is always to have my seniors go out on this, this beautiful note of, of uh, triumph, but instead we got chased off campus by the coronavirus. But anyway, we're, we're, this is what we're doing instead of that. So you guys, instead of having a, a great finish your career, you get to have this, this little talk here with, with your coach. So, so hopefully that's a great trade-off for you. Um, but anyway, uh, these three guys, uh, Patrick Dorr, Jonah Engel, Alex Reinbold, and, uh, and you guys, I want to start just by asking you, uh, what are, what are you doing? What have you been doing over, over the, the two months that we've had here since we, since we all got sent home? So, so go ahead and share with a little bit, and then we'll, we'll talk about a couple other things. Who wants to start us out? Alex, I'll go got for it. it. Jones got it. Alex got it. Okay, okay. So I've actually had, um, I've been thankful to do a little bit of traveling, um, which sounds a little weird, but no flying or anything. Um, just driving a few places, visiting some friends and family, um, which has been really good. And so in the, in the midst of doing that, I've been doing a lot of homework, a lot of writing. I have a couple pretty unique independent studies and things that I've kind of been able to spend a little bit more personal time on and um, kind of make my own. And so I'm finishing those up and yeah, getting ready to be done. All right. All right. Thank you. Patrick, what about you? I think Alex got it. He's second. There you go. Stalling over there. All right. Yeah, I can go next. Um, so basically what I've been doing is just keeping up with schoolwork. Uh, been taking a couple Dr. Britton classes this semester. So it, required a little bit of extra attention. Just finished up my final, final of wow. my collegiate career just about an hour ago. Nice. Been pretty Come good about on. That. And then uh, some other stuff that's been keeping me busy. I'm learning to play the guitar, which has been fun. Wow. Just Dude, been yeah. In my room most day. Are you getting lessons or are you doing it on your own? I actually had uh, lessons from Spring Arbor last spring, just wow. like the basic stuff. So I've just been building on that for the last year or so. And, it's fun. I'm not good at all, but I, uh, <laughs> I have fun with it. That's great. And uh, the other thing that's been keeping me busy is I'm setting up my job for this summer up in Traverse City with uh, Ford Insurance Agency. I'm supposed to be getting something in the mail either this week or next week. And uh, I think they want me to be starting July 13th. So it's all set up. So I don't have to worry about having a job or finding out if I'll be able to get a job in the midst of all this. So it's, it's pretty relieving to have that set up. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome. And setting the bar high there. Um, yeah, basically the same as Joan and Alex doing homework, um, playing a lot of tennis too with uh, Connor. I think I've seen Coach out there a couple of times. Um, other than that, I mean, I've been not bored, definitely not bored, but, uh, you know, been working on some personal things, probably cleaning the room a little bit. And um, that's about it. I became an uncle about a month ago. So I haven't been able to see him yet. I'm thinking I'm going to see him this Saturday, so that's pretty exciting. But other than that, I mean, kind of same old, same old, nothing uh, nothing too new right. around right. with me. Awesome. Well, thank you, guys. So let's talk a little bit more about the team. Um, obviously, uh, you guys were all great leaders for this group. And, um, and so I'd like you just to talk a little bit about what – did you even, what did you enjoy most about being on the Spring Iowa University tennis team? Yeah, I can go first. One of the things I loved most is we always had just like such a widespread of personalities and talents and passions. And 
it was just always so fun to see how all those mix together. And it was so fun to have that all kind of center around tennis, um, something that we all love to do. And so I, I know I always enjoyed, you know, getting to see the quirks of Drew Hall and getting to, you know, hang out with the smooth sailing Connor Mogul, like all in the same moment. And so it was just kind of like fun to be able to have all those personalities and just, yeah, just form all those great friendships together out on the court. So it's kind of fun. Yeah, to sort of go off of that, the relationships were, were probably my favorite part too, just getting to know so many different people from freshman year, getting to be close with the seniors on that team, and then just every year bringing in new personalities. And I think the time where we get to know everybody the most is at Hilton Head, where everybody sort of becomes their true vacation self at least, so you get to know them a little bit on a deeper level. And it's just, it's super fun to, to have those relationships build throughout the years. Um, especially with fellow seniors. It's been super fun getting to know you guys um, better and better every single year. Yeah, I'll pick it back up both those. I think with Joe, I think the personalities, I didn't expect to get pushed in the ways that I did. Uh, I'm kind of off the court. So, I mean, we all know who Sam Head is. Um, so I think one of my favorite memories <laughs> with Sam is probably playing ping pong. Uh, so it's kind of like probably ruined the spring ever ping pong culture with the tennis team because we were just kind of better than everybody else. But that kind of translated into tennis as well because he just brought the intensity. I remember seeing that freshman year, and I was like, I need to bring this for the next four years. And so I think that's probably the thing that stands out the most is kind of like the bar was set, um, even when yeah, I wasn't playing. Even when, um, even when I wasn't playing. So, yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's probably four years there. Four years there. So I'm not sure what I'm quite sure what the volume, volume there. Volume there. We're getting some. Maybe getting we'll, some, uh, maybe we'll um, Maybe we should all maybe we should all while somebody's talking that might get rid of the echo. I don't know what that's about. Um, so you guys related to that though, kind of your favorite memory of your four years, and probably I mean, ideally on the court, kind of your favorite memory on the court, because you've talked a little bit about some of your favorite stuff off the court, but favorite memory on the court, what what uh what pops into your minds on that one? Someone else oh, wanna go first? Oh, do you want to? Okay. I'll, I guess I'll go. So for me, I, I, we touched on this a little bit at the end of the end of the team meeting or end of the year team meeting uh, a couple weeks ago, but uh, probably a memory that I will remember most from my four years is getting to number a hundred win number a hundred on court with Jonah about um, how we had to come back from a four, seven deficit and win a tie break here. And we weren't, or at least I wasn't playing very well to start and Jonah picked up a, uh, my slack and, and told me to play a little better and it worked and we were able to come back and it was a really memorable match to get number 100 and I was super happy to be able to do it with uh with Joan on the court with me super special uh memory for me yeah that was a blast that was awesome I was glad to be on the court with you for that um for me I would say probably one of the most memorable was actually last year down in Hilton Head. And I actually wasn't even playing, unfortunately, because I had the broken arm. But it was when Sam Head had that dueling match down in Hilton Head. And when he won and got off the court, we all, you know, sprayed our bottles on everyone and jumped all around. It was just like an awesome time to celebrate a good victory all together. So that was kind of a memorable one. Even though I wasn't playing on the court, it was something that happened on the court that was a memory I'll always have. So. I like how we keep bringing Sam Head back into this. It's great. Um, but I think for me personally, it's probably junior year, the classic Aquinas match, the tied four all. So, I mean, that's kind of like the, the no-brainer answer for sure. But that kind of proved to me that everything that I had gone through freshman year with hip surgeries and, I mean, even sophomore year where I probably wasn't playing my best, that I could still play at a high level. And that did a lot for my confidence. Um, just playing that kid with the 200 mile an hour serve and the uh, just the weird, weird quirks that he had over there and to pull that out. I think that's kind of the biggest thing too, with like getting the team behind you. I think that's probably why you, one of the, the best things you can have as a tennis player on the court is to look over to your left, or your right and see, you know, 12 of the guys just pulling so hard for you. And then, you know, hoping the kid loses. So that's, that's probably, probably the best feeling you could have for sure yeah those are great you guys um what about what about advice you've got for incoming freshmen so we've got a, a crop of guys that are going to come in and and uh they won't fill your shoes but but i know they're all excited about being here so what 
what's some advice do you have for these guys? I would say um, just take every moment to try to be a good teammate. So, and, and that can look like a bunch of different things. It can be uh, encouraging somebody when they're going through a drill, uh, talking to somebody that maybe is taking a while to um, mesh with the group, like a, a new freshman, sort of try to introduce yourself early on and, and make them feel well acclimated. Um, doing little things for your teammates, like uh, giving rides after practice if, if it's a cold day. I know that that was always uh, a nice thing that I appreciated when a teammate would come by and give me a lift if I didn't drive to the to Dunkel before practice. So I think just being good teammates, being friendly to one another, and just making sure everybody feels a part of the family is uh, the big thing that I would advise for incoming players. I would say coming in as a freshman, you need to start believing in yourself that you belong at the level that you are. I mean, you look at the conference, it's, it's very competitive. And it's kind of easy to look at yourself as a tennis player and say, oh, man, maybe I don't belong at this level. But um, you have to kind of kick that out of your head and do what it takes to, to compete and make yourself better every day. I think that's kind of the biggest jump you have to make as a tennis player coming into college is to change the mental kind of attitude that you have towards playing the game. I mean, everybody you play in college is going to be very good, especially in the fall. And so you need to start believing that you're, you're very good as well. And you need to make that happen off the court as well as on the court. So yeah, that would be my advice. Yeah, I think that's, that's something um, – just talking about the mental side of the game is something that tennis has to offer that is so unique and so different than a lot of other sports. And, Coach, with your background in psychology, you just do such a good job of – um, of working on the mental toughness side of tennis. And I would say, you know, I've seen my game increase um, way more up here. Um, and that has really become evident on the court. You know, the, the stronger I've been up here, the stronger I've been out on the court. And so for an incoming freshman, I'd say just soak it up, like take time to really develop that mental toughness, develop perspective and wisdom um, that translates honestly on and off the court. And so that, I know that's something that was good for me to just soak up and I would tell any other freshman to try to do the same. That's great advice, you guys. Um, I, I think one of the hardest things for me at least as a coach is, is how quickly four years goes, especially when I get a group like you three who, you know, just you were highly touted uh, high school players that we knew were going to be a special group. And, you know, you really were, were a big part of our success just because of your abilities. But um, that the, that the fact that this is all that you're done now, um, it seems like you just got here, you know, and this should be about the end of your sophomore year, maybe, but certainly not the end of your senior years. And, uh, and so the, the toughest thing is just saying goodbye to people, even though I'm incredibly proud of every one of you guys. It's just, it's, it's done and you're launching and you've got your whole lives ahead of you. And I'm, I'm excited for, you know, what God's going to do in your lives, but it's, it went way too fast. So anyway, um, I want to thank you guys for, for being part of our little chat here. We'll get this thing up and posted. And, uh, and I, I just, uh, I hope that we continue to stay in contact and I, I, um, I really trust that that, you know, that even though the, the, the future is a little bit murky at the moment, I, uh, I have great faith in all you guys that, that um, you, have, you have wonderfully bright futures. So I'm going to stop our, our tape here, I think.